We're just a few hours away from this afternoon's Skybet League One kickoff against Oxford United. It's time to catch up with groundsman Chaz once again. Chaz, how are we on this fine yet a little bit drizzly morning? I'm feeling remarkably relaxed today. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, but no, we've got it all under control. Uh, um, we've got a good, strong team on my, my side. This have got a full team, no injuries. So uh, we've got a, a cut on it this morning. Just about to have a bit of grub. Then we'll put the lines on. Um, plasters are out and goals will go in. And yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be relaxed. I think it's been a couple of weeks since we had that triple header, really. The, the two, game, two men's games and the women's game in the space of four days. It, the pitch seemed to come through it with absolutely no issues at all. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it, the weather was great. Um, obviously, we, we knew it was coming, so we planned accordingly with fertiliser regimes and everything else, so we got it growing nicely. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was very much suck it and see. We didn't know how it would behave. Um, I'm sure if it had been very wet, things could have been very different, but we were very lucky. And, uh, yeah, the pitch, the pitch was the pitch, and everyone was able to play, play their own game on it. So... Um, yeah, most enjoyable um, games, the, 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 the ladies, you know, that was great to have them in here. Um, fantastic support, incredible support, um, different to the men's games um, uh, in a very positive way, in their own way. It was, it was great to be here and uh, yeah, it was an honour to have them in here. And, and obviously then the Tuesday night, which was moved from the week before because the Southampton boys um, had international duty so something you've got to be able to cope with and I think you know we could say we cope with it pretty well and without and today it's going to be as good as it was for the first game of the season which is where we want to try and be with this this pitch um, I don't think the, the man on the microphone was he wasn't up to much on, the, on Sunday for the women's game there wasn't <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite sure about the uh, the karaoke at the end um, I've, I've noted that one fair fair um, Obviously, game next week here as well against Fleetwood, and then the big event of the season uh, on, on the Thursday after is the evening with Chaz. Um, tickets are still selling for that one. Are we excited? Uh, yeah, we again a bit nervous. Um, yeah, be uh, 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 yeah, we, we go go with the flow. It's the first time we've done anything like that, so and it's all in, all for a good cause. And um, yeah, we'll we'll make it enjoyable and uh, informative and fun, really. Um, so, yeah, I look, I look look forward to it. Same way as I look forward, forward to anything like that. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll make the most of it. Obviously, raising funds towards Kit Out the Cliff, which is starting to take shape nicely. That the buildings have started to arrive. Um, you must be really pleased with how it's starting to look out there. Uh, yeah, yeah, very. Um, it was it was all all singing, all dancing last week. Um, we weren't allowed on site for for a couple of days with our vehicles. We had to. We had to, uh, we're very thankful to the uh, to the pub opposite for allowing us to park and walk across. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was an exciting week. The weather was incredible um, for them. Uh, what an impressive setup! Um, I'm sure most of them must have been in the army engineers or logistics corps because it was literally a military operation, and uh, it was. Uh, yeah, it was impressive to watch, um, and you know, obviously, the once that final cabin went in, it was like, wow, that's going to be impressive. Um, and you know, that's that's what we want to. That's what we're aiming for. That's what we wanted, and uh, and fully, you know, fully behind everything about it. And um, yeah, really looking forward to stepping up the whole area now. The whole area, you know, it's going to whole area has got to be uh, landscaped and I think uh, I'm going to be asked to get involved a little bit in that which I'm honoured to be so uh, get the right level um, and, and really set the place off uh, because it's going to be something we can uh, as with the new stand here and the away stand and, and the work we've been doing here something that we can be really proud of as a club and stick our chests out and give them a bit of a bang so yeah I'm, I'm right up for it Excellent stuff. Uh, we interrupted you making breakfast for the boys, so I think we'll let you get back and make your own, was it sausage, bacon and an onion or something? Yeah, it's, it's uh, caramelised onion and pork and apple sausage with uh, like luxury bacon with no fat on it, because obviously I'm on a diet, not. 
um, and then I chucked a few mushrooms in there and then Ryan told me he didn't like mushrooms uh, but he's a bit fussy to be honest he's from Morton Hampstead and he's a bit fussy. I thought if you lived at Morton Hampstead you'd pretty much eat anything but Ryan doesn't so uh, I don't even know where that yeah. is so there we go <laughs> you don't know where Morton Hampstead is <laughs> steady on so it's, uh, I'm not even sure if Morton Hampstead is on the sat nav to be honest but no it's uh, a beautiful place Morton Hampstead and uh, home of Thompson's Haulage big big haulage company shout so, out to Thompson's Hawley yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll let you get off then and enjoy your breakfast thanks thanks as ever cheers and I'm going to go and locate Morton Hampstead on a map yeah go and see where it is you can actually drive through on your way home beautiful yeah. and then there's a as you go out on the moors towards towards uh two bridges or whatever it is uh the Warren House Inn beautiful pub what a view what an amazing view from the Warren House Inn um, they haven't got any electric out there, they run off a generator and the fire never goes out, but the food is to die for. I know where I'm going on my way home. <laughs>